resort style mansion in Australia that was once home to Dwayne The Rock Johnson has been sitting on the market for a little while now, still being up for sale at the suggested price of 18 to 20 million dollars. The Rock reportedly paid $20,000 a week to rent this luxury home while filming the disaster movie San Andreas Nearby. Located in the upscale surfers paradise community on the Gold Coast, the massive six bedroom estate spans over 35,000 square feet of space. Along with features like a gourmet kitchen, a full gym, movie theater, rainforest garden, pool, and much more. The design of the mansion has a Balinese style feel with timber finishes, large atrium spaces, and amazing water views. In terms of Dwayne's main residence these days, it's currently a sprawling estate in Beverly Hills, which the actor picked up in 2021 for over $27 million. One of the biggest homes on the Gold Coast of Australia, which appeared in scenes from one of the rocks at action films still sits on the market with no buyers as of August 2023. The mansion is nicknamed Timuana and this tropical trophy home is where part of the flick San Andreas was filmed as well as where the star of the movie Dwayne The Rock Johnson called home while they were filming. Johnson reportedly paid 20k per week to live at this sprawling waterfront pad in Queensland and it's more specifically located in the exclusive Main River Estates community on 42 meters of river frontage. The 2015 15 disaster movie San Andreas, starring The Rock, Carla Gugino, and Alexander Daddario, spent about two months in Queensland. So the actor lived at this home in 2014. While there is no set price tag on the mansion, listing materials estimate the cost or value anywhere from 18 to 20 million dollars, considering it was last sold in 2016 for 15.5 million. The gigantic estate was built to evoke the feel of a Balinese island paradise and boasts luxe timber finishes, massive atriums, and spacious common rooms with views of the water. Spanning over 35,000 square feet of space, this mega mansion also has six bedrooms throughout, all of which are king-sized and six bathrooms to match. Built by entrepreneur Doug Spong in the 90s on the Narang River, the home feels more like a resort than anything else, even offering its own private beach. No wonder The Rock would live in this trophy home as it's fit for a celebrity. Surrounding the home, there are stunning tropical gardens, as well as an oversized swimming pool. If that's not your thing, you can take advantage of the home spa on the river, using the deep water pontoon and setting out to sea on the boat right from your backyard. Inside this sprawling home, Temelana boasts a double height entry foyer, as well as a handful of airy common rooms to relax or entertain. Of course, there's a gourmet kitchen with an impressive butler's pantry, European appliances, and a cold room. While nearby, you'll find all of the light filled living and dining areas. These rooms are also equipped for easy indoor outdoor living with access to the outside spaces to take advantage of the Gold Coast weather. Elsewhere, you'll find a billiards room, a wine cellar, a private theater, and even a home gym. The Rock had his choice of master suites when living here, considering there were two impressive primary bedrooms, one on the ground floor and one just above it, each with a dressing room. Moving outside, entertaining is elevated to a new standard on the variety of alfresco terraces. The mansion is a retreat that's ideal for hosting Hollywood A-listers, where one can gather here with guests to create unforgettable experiences. There's a riverfront terrace and even an undercover terrace tucked away with a fireplace beside a water feature and a pond. Aside from the large swimming pool, the grounds also feature a heated spa. Timoana actually boasts the second largest piece of property on the exclusive street. Not to mention, it's across the street from the 42-acre Albert park, which is full of waterside paths, playgrounds, sports amenities, and a dog park. 10 minutes from the mansion, you'll even find world famous beaches, shopping, dining, and more at Surfer's Paradise. Around the same time The Rock was living here, he had been recognized by Forbes magazine as the highest grossing actor the year before, so he could no doubt afford this rental price. Posh Street the mansion is located on is exclusive as can be for the Gold Coast, where more than 20 properties have been sold for over $5 million, and the best of the best have achieved eight-figure results. In 2021, The Rock purchased a new family mansion in Beverly Hills as well, which is now his main residence. 
The estate is set in what's often considered the most exclusive and priciest gated community in Los Angeles, Beverly Park. Some of their closest neighbors here include the likes of Denzel Washington, Sofia Vergara, Eddie Murphy, and much more. Beverly Park is high in the mountains above Beverly Hills, and The Rock's home is set at the end of a super quiet street behind iron gates and down a long driveway lined with olive trees. The deal went down off market, but he reportedly paid $27.8 million for the mansion. It was actually at a $2 million plus discount, and the property spans 3.67 acres of land. The Rock probably feels like royalty rolling up to the home where a central stone fountain sits on the motor court, and the exterior is also full of ivy line archways and Mediterranean landscaping. The place feels like a European or Tuscan estate rather than just an LA house, with features like a red tile roof and multiple turrets, balconies, and cover patios throughout. While every mansion in Beverly Park is luxury at its finest, it's said that The Rock's home is actually considered the largest property in the neighborhood. Inside, the home spans over 17,600 square feet with six beds and an excessive 11.5 bathrooms throughout. Not to mention, there's an additional 2,500 square foot guest house. Property has a star studded past to go with it, being sold to The Rock by actor Paul Reeser. And before that, it was owned by rock star Alex Van Halen, who actually built the house in 1993. Dwayne's mansion was described as a complete resort, and it definitely is, being packed with all the amenities you could imagine from a world class gym to an at home baseball diamond and everything in between. There are several gates surrounding the home for easy access in and out of the property, as well as for privacy. There are spaces to occupy the entire family in this mansion from the luxury common rooms inside to the park-like grounds. Include a music studio, which was installed by Van Halen while he lived here, an elevator, and one of my favorite rooms, the home movie theater. This space was decorated in a cozy, classic color scheme with plush recliners. And for those who care about their fitness just like The Rock does, the mansion boasts a top-of-the-line home gym, a full-size tennis court, and like I said, its own baseball diamond. Not only is there a swimming pool and spa outside, there's an indoor lap lane swimming pool situated in a room with mint green walls and French doors leading to the yard. The park-like grounds feature many mature trees, picturesque trails, and hidden sanctuaries. There are multiple terraces, some covered and some not, including spaces to entertain, like a fire pit and outdoor kitchen area. While The Rock has used his well-earned fortune to invest in some stunning homes for he and his family over the years, he also likes to give back. Recently, Johnson surprised UFC fighter Themba Garimbo with the gift of a new home. This generous gift was inspired by Garimbo's story of his bank account dropping to $7 before his first win in the UFC. Johnson recently posted a video of him surprising Garimbo at a gym and then revealing a house he'd put under lease for the fighter in Miami, Florida. Garimbo's from Zimbabwe and recently sent the money he had made in the UFC to his home village to use for a well. The Rock, who's a well-known MMA fan and even presented the BMF belt for a fight in 2019, said the Garimbo story resonated with him especially because he remembers having only $7 to his name in Miami before his rise to fame in wrestling and entertainment. The Rock even owns a production company Company called Seven Bucks Production. Grimbo was emotional during the interaction and said that he had been a fan of The Rock since he was a child. Grimbo competes in the welterweight division and is one to one since signing with the UFC in early 2023. He had been sleeping on a couch at his MMA Masters gym in Miami prior to Johnson's unexpected gift. So it's no doubt a big deal for the up and coming athlete. After looking at a couple of Dwayne The Rock Johnson's homes, past and present, that's gonna wrap up today's video. But before we go, answer this question for me. If you could have a waterfront home, would you prefer to be situated on the ocean, a river, or maybe even a calm lake? Let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and I will see you all in another video. Bye.